All right, guys. Hola. Me amo Mateo. I was asked a question about like what kind of face care stuff I used, so I really decided that um, I'm just gonna show everything that's in my bathroom, from there to there. So let's start with the shower. I'm gonna let you guys know what I use for what reasons and etc. I'm not wearing any boxers. All right. Of course, you have your wash rag. Um, you're probably wondering what the hell is that, but let's get to that later. Down here, head and shoulders, don't want dandruff, so I use that every, uh, I was using it every day, but I just keep forgetting that's not a good idea. You don't really want to shampoo your hair every single day. Maybe every other day, maybe every four days, five days, every week. Some people do different things. Um, I do it probably every second or third day. Other than that, I use regular, um, like more of a, can a conditioner type of a product every day. This right here, it's like a full body thing. Um, <laughs> Nivea for men. I use that to actually shave. Um, and I also use it to uh, basically just make my make my package smell real good. Um, you got the Dove soap. That right there, it's an exfoliating sponge basically. I use that on my back. Anywhere I can't reach, um, yeah. And this right here is an exfoliating, uh, an exfoliating just, I don't know, material that I use to uh, rub myself down. And I did that today for the first time as well as use that for the first time. Just because on Wednesdays I usually do my tanning at the tanning salon and I figure if I exfoliate on a Tuesday as well as on the Wednesday morning, um, the product that I use can get in my skin better. Um, and then the t I just feel like the tan would be better, you know, if I exfoliated. So that's why I do that. In my medicine closet, I don't really have anything mega important. Um, this was all stuff from my last competition. I don't even need to go there. Uh, this, I stopped taking that. Got band-aids, Midol if you have girls over, they got cramps. Uh, digestive enzymes, I used to take those. Got my ZMA, I will take that every night, three pills. Uh, preparation H, I got that from the last competition, I didn't even use it. Uh, Lamisil for athlete's foot, you do not want that, it's not attractive. Neosporin, um, you know, you know what that's for. This right here is for allergies, I take that. Um, it helps me sleep, I actually have sleep apnea, I'll get into that later. Got the toilet, the cleaner, you need a magazine. You need either a magazine or an iPhone to keep you occupied when you're taking a deuce. Um, nothing's worse than doing nothing when you're dropping one. Okay guys, into the mouth products, there's a special mix I like to use that really helps me with kind of white teeth. Um, you know, sort of white teeth, they're not amazing, but they're okay. What I do is I take three parts hydrogen peroxide, one part mouthwash, um, how much, how much ever it takes to fill up your mouth, you know, half to three quarters of your mouth, you know, gargle that for about 30 seconds up to a minute, hell, even a minute and a half. I usually do that in the shower. Um, you know, spit it out, rinse your mouth out. What that does is, uh, hydrogen peroxide, it's in a lot of toothpaste products as a whitener. Um, and of course the mouthwash, it cleans your mouth and who knows what it really does, but at least it makes it smell good, right? But the hydrogen peroxide, it really does clean your mouth and it also whitens your teeth. So I do that before I brush my teeth in the mornings and sometimes I do it even at night. I just use, doesn't really matter what kind of brand toothpaste I use. Um, but when it comes to the toothbrush, I use this badass thing. Yeah. Philips Sonicare. Um, Sonic toothbrush, it works amazing. When I got it, my friends made fun of me. They're like, this guy spent $80 on a toothbrush, what an idiot. And I'm like, are you serious? You guys spend that much money on beer per month? Y'all, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, it's very good to have a very good toothbrush. Uh, all I have to do is replace these every once in a while. And uh, trust me, it works wonders on your teeth to have a good toothbrush like a Sonicare. Another magic formula you might want to know about to everyone out there seeking healthier, shinier teeth. Put your toothpaste on the toothbrush, of course, and then put baking soda on top, just sprinkle it on top, 
And then I did research, um, and I heard about it in videos. I put sea salt also on top of the toothpaste. And then I brush my teeth. Um, the reason you put the baking soda, you will also find baking soda in a lot of brands of um, toothpaste. It's a whitener, it's a cleaner, it's this and that. It'll make your mom happy. It, it'll, it, it works like creatine, it makes your muscles bigger. Um, indigestion, constipation, it's pretty much everything. Baking soda does so many, you can bake cookies with it. I don't, what the, right? Some has so many damn uses or something up with it. Um, yeah, sea salt, and the reason for that is, uh, ah, I heard it's like just the abrasion, um, basically when you're, you're get riding up the sea salt against your teeth, it kind of, a uh, I don't know, smooths it, smoothens it out in a way, cleans it out, and, um, I also read something about the way it affects the, uh, just the, the chemical, um, makeup of your, inside your mouth, and it puts it into a more, like, healthy, kind of, a uh, cleaner and, a mode or environment you could say so that's mouth stuff um, you can do your own research if you don't believe me or if you want more proof or testimonials or whatever but I do not use mouth whitener my teeth are the best but um they're somewhat okay now face stuff this is what someone really wanted to know um, I actually am really into this type of product image skincare the thing is it's really expensive uh, my girl who lives in like the city that's nice, uh, she gets that and um, it's really, really expensive. You practically get broke. It's like $30 per piece and there's like usually, th you know, three steps to any face um, regimen. So instead of that, and actually I used to think this stuff sucked, Oxy face wash, I use that. And actually that stuff works pretty good. Um, it doesn't feel like it works good, but over time it just does. It just does. Uh, so what I did, I, I started trusting in it. I got the step two, which is cleansing pad. So after I face wash, get out of the shower, use the cleansing pad. Um, kind of uh, uh, exfoliates in a way. And it also has silicic acid. Silicic uh, acid. It's got, um, so, and that's like a, f just good for the face to, uh, bacteria and whatnot, I don't know. But, um, it's pretty much on all the products. And, um, the third step I use when I do have this stuff is this. Acne lotion, benzoyl peroxide, and probably has salicylic acid as well. But, um, for now I use this Oxy Spot Treatment Vanishing, and it's got benzoyl peroxide. That's what I use for the face. Um... This is fairly good. I don't really have anything insane on my face. I mean, once in a while I can pop something, but it's nothing crazy. Uh, for hair, I've been using, well, as a child, when I really was into, like, just putting my hair up, I used this kind of styling gel, La, La Bella, La Bella. I used to always call it La Bella just because I like it like that. Um, recent years, I started using spiking glue, and I realized how effective they are compared to, like, hair gel. Uh, spiking glue gets your damn hair up. I just use a Walgreens brand. Um, when I when I do have shorter hair, I like to have it up, and I think it looks good. Uh, other times when it's like this, I'll just throw some gel in it and keep it straight and forward like this. I think it looks fine. Um, speed stick, just like that. Gotta have that Vaseline in there. Um, this is for if I'm in the sun for a super long time. Um, speaking about the sun, when I use my, my tanning products, I use like Australian Gold, I think that's the brand. And I also use a face um, sunscreen, and, uh, and I use that on my lips as well as a little bit on my face when I do use a tanning bed, just so you know. Um, I think there was something else I wanted to cover that had to do with something over here. Oh yeah, my pumice stone, okay. So this comes t into uh, hand care for all you bodybuilders out there. A lot of you guys, I'm sure, for, well, for at least anyone who's pulling, you know, quite a bit of weight. You've experienced, you know, my hands right now, they look great because I've been pumice stoning them like insane. But um, just last week, I had, you know, one inch long calluses that were practically disconnected from my hand on multiple, multiple fingers on the bases right there. Um, it looked insane. Uh, that was just from deadlifting a lot and rowing a lot. But 
in bodybuilding, powerlifting, and other lifting kind of sports, you, you could, you know, possibly get this kind of stuff. And uh, if you end up, like, peeling a callus completely off, then you, anyone out there who's ever done that knows the pain because, you know, it's just raw flesh. Ooh, I just gave a silent fart. Um, raw flesh, you know, just exposed to anything. And if you touch stuff, you can get uh, infected. You, it, and also just the discomfort of feeling your raw flesh touch something is just bad. So what I really recommend is every time you shower, take a pumice stone and as well as you can, just rub it like hell. Just scrape the crap, the SHIT, out of your calluses. And I've done that, and it just takes a long time. Like, you can straight up see the skin inside your... The, I know that's disgusting, but I don't even know what that white stuff is. Maybe it's some sort of chemical. Maybe it's my skin. But if it is my skin, it's because I scraped the crap out of my calluses. And uh, the last resort kind of thing is this, and I've never really mastered it. Uh, basically, it's just a callus scraper. And honestly, I'm not too fond of using, like, a blade <laughs> against my... My, my hands to get my calluses off. So, since I'm not into blades and knives and crap, I just use this callus stone and I just, I will be in the shower scraping at calluses for like 10 minutes sometimes. However long it takes to really handle them because if you don't handle them, um, it could turn into a much worse problem than simply scraping up a girl when you rub it on her or, I don't know, like, I don't know. Imagine, you know, you're like you're just rubbing a girl's back and then you just scrape all the way down her. <laughs> and she's just like, what the hell? And it's like, yeah, my bad. I don't know. Some girls are into that kind of stuff, though. I won't really get into that. They're kind of weird, to be honest. What do we got in here? We have some random tanning products. We got my Pro Tan. Um, so that's for later on during, you know, towards competition. Get a flyer for it. Um,. I don't know, you never know, right? You never know. Uh, that, in case you get sick, falls, teeth whitener in case, I don't know, in a few days you have something you really need to be, you know, beautiful for. This, for all the multiple, uh, oh, I use lavender and vanilla scented stuff all around my room. Like over here, this thing blasts lavender vanilla smell. Both actually, one for each side of it, and whenever someone walks in my room, they just get smacked with this beautiful smell. They can't help but just rip their clothes off. I'm telling you, lavender and vanilla, fellas, you're trying to get those ladies. <sighs> I'm gonna keep it all PG, guys. Sorry. Oh gosh. Um, backup toothpaste, you know, backup stuff. Make sure there's nothing in here you shouldn't see. Oh, okay. Oh, I got, I got some supplements down here. I got baby oil in case I make a rap video. Uh, you know, those big booty girls. Um, this is a super exfoliate. That's for before I, uh, you know, use Pro Tan or something. Dream Tan. I've heard good and bad about this. I've used it before. I might actually try something different. I know certain people out there hate Dream Tan and swear against it. But um, who knows? And I actually have some food down there locked away. I don't know why. But um, I guess that's a good idea because if someone's trying to kill you, um, you know how people always get locked in their bathrooms? Well, I will have water and I will have food. And that, that, that could last me for quite a while. Like, that robber better be one patient bastard because I could be up here for as long as possible devising a plan. Devising a plan to retaliate and I could just use the sharp edges of this. I could open the door, unlock it, hide right over here. He'll come out, think I'm in the, think I'm in the, I don't know, that room, and I'll just jump out and just slash his ass up with a, I don't know, with my weight scale. Okay, guys, about weight scales. Um, this is something I haven't talked about, and the reason why I said like 170 plus pounds was because I ate, I drank water, and I'm wearing a towel. Um, guys, you really need an accurate weight scale. Now, you might just be saying, okay, yeah, Matt, so, so what, so big deal, right, okay. You're so naive. Go to Fry's. This is what I, I went to Fry's. I stepped on a weight scale. I was like, all right, it shouldn't be hard. I'm going to start off with the cheap one. Cheap electronic one. It doesn't need to have all these functions on it. Um, I got on it. It said like, this was when I was over 180. So like 182 pounds. I'm like, cool. Got off it. Got on it. 181.7. 
I was thinking to myself, okay, this is weird. Got off it, got on it. 181.7, same thing. I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Got off it, removed my keys, removed my cell phone, got on it. 181.7. I'm just like, <laughs> about to turn into the freaking Hulk and crush that thing. You know why? Because when you take your keys off, when you take your cell phone off, that damn thing should change at least like half a pound. You know how much iPhone weighs? You know how much a bunch of keys could weigh? So, long story short, I took like eight of these, put them on the ground, stepped from each one, made sure they were all at least, you know, equal, and if one couldn't even weigh me to begin with correct, I tossed it. Um, and then I started to really put it to the test, picked up a water jug, got on it, got off it, checked what, what, what it weighed, you know, with the water jug, took the water jug off, got on it, and that damn thing better have read that I lost weight. Got off it, recorded it, I don't know if I recorded it, but mentally I did, and then I tried that out for like four or five different ones, and it was so frustrating because there were certain ones that were at a good price range, I'm just like, wow, this one doesn't even work. It doesn't even work. I want to take a sledgehammer and crush it. It's ridiculous. Stores are trying to sell you shit that doesn't even work. How do you feel about that? Pisses me the hell off. Anyways, I actually found this one and it cost about like $30. Vogue Professional. It costs about $30. Um, it does work when I do, you know, take stuff off of myself or put stuff on. It works great. Haven't had any problems. And guys, you should weigh yourself in the morning, nude, after you go pee, or and poo, and um, as soon as you wake up. Every morning, write it down. Why? Because if you don't do that, then um, <sighs> hey, reliable. You're not gonna really know how much you actually weigh. Because throughout the day, you know, you go to the gym, you weigh yourself, and you're like, yeah, yeah. When really, you forgot that, uh, oh yeah, you're wearing your wallet, right? You're wearing your wallet. Oh, I'm so sorry. You actually didn't gain a pound. You didn't. Okay, so guys, you have to remember, clothes weigh something. Food especially weighs something. Look at this. Look. I weighed in at 171 this morning. Okay, I weighed in at 171 nude after I took a dump and a piss and burped many times. I weighed 171, it's 176.8, 5.8 pounds in like 30 minutes. All right guys, take note of that. Take note of that. You need a good weight scale. That's like the most important thing. <sighs> you know, I, <sighs> I could turn into the Hulk about this stuff. Anyways, you just got soap. You got the baby oil, like I said, in case, you know, a rap video girl comes over. You got the colognes. I use a combination of two because I'm cool like that. Barbasol shaving cream in case you know I don't want to use the showering stuff that I use and that for when um, people are over and uh, I just lay one that I can't even handle you know so guys that's pretty much the bath oh yeah so being here uh, I gotta hide I can't really show what's over there um yeah you know what those are so guys pretty much it um you got I got gl gloves in there I got you know rolls of toilet paper all the cleaning supplies I might need, a backup of scope, Clorox, all that stuff, you know, toothpaste, to I mean, sorry, toothbrush. And guys, that's pretty much my bathroom. Um, hopefully you learned a thing or two, and hopefully I didn't take up too much of your time. <sighs> See, the main things about the bathroom for me, or for people in general, I say accurate weight scale, good teeth cleaning products, somewhat good face cleaning products, and uh, something to ruin, you're taking a dump. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you're having a great day. Natural bodybuilder Matt Ogus, 20 years old. I'm Filipino and white. I'm 5'6". Right now I'm weighing 171 pounds. A little bit less than 11 weeks out. Thank you.